how many crooked cops were there during that time? Man. Because a lot of times the guys with the badge are just as crooked as the guys on the street. <laughs> Man, that's too many to name. I mean, I don't even know them all. I just know that um, yeah, it was a lot of crooked cops, man, in, in, in the streets of D.C., man. Some of them was, um, you know, they're, they're going drug buses and get keys of coke from guys, and they'll put it back on the block as if they never even made the bus. Okay. Were they doing that to you? Nah, but they did it. When I found out later, they did it to, um, they did it to one of my partners. They did it to one of my partners, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So when you talk about DC, uh, a lot of names ring bells. And, and one of them is Rayful Edmund. And this was like a big brother to you at one point. Yeah, at one point, yeah. He, he, was, he was a mentor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he was one of the biggest kingpins uh, in DC. Right. All right. So what was your relationship like with him in the beginning? In the beginning, it was... um. It was like big brother, little brother relationship, you know, man. I remember him telling me, man, that um, you know, what I mean, just um, pay always pay attention to my surroundings, you know, what I mean, and um, stay away from the bullshit and get money. So I used to watch, him, you know, what I mean, and um, I used to emulate him in certain to a certain degree with the way that he um, he dealt with people, you know, what I mean, he was always he was always generous. He wasn't never like the type of person that, you know, looked down on somebody because they had less. So those those particular traits in his character, I try to implement in mine as well. And uh, you know, we had a we had a real good relationship in the beginning. Right, and he was one of the most like flashy and flamboyant guys out there. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Okay, uh, but then he gets arrested. Right. And after he got convicted, he became an informant. Yeah. And I mean, I looked up his story. You know, I guess they said that it was because of his mother getting convicted, but then his mother was all, all already arrested uh, in some of the original indictments. So he ended up cooperating, and he's now actually part of the, the Federal Witness Protection Program. I'm going to say this about Ray, man. That story that they he pumped out there about he only did it because to save his mother, that's that was some bullshit, man. Ray got weak. You know what I mean? Ray got weak. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. Like I say, you know, I fucked with him in the beginning, but once you violate that code of uh, honor and you you do that, then then I don't I I don't have no rap for you. I don't fuck with you at all. I don't give a fuck what we did in the past together or how much love I had for you in the past together. I mean, how much love I had for you in the past. If you cross that line and violate that code of honor, I'm not fucking with you. So I'm not going to sit here and, 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 um, and say that that was the reason why he told Point Blank Prayer. He got weak. He got weak, man. He turned to a bitch in there and he got weak. Well, Rayful cooperated and gave information on 20 murders. Right. Did you know some of the people that he ratted on? Yeah, I knew probably the majority of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. So all these guys that you knew were suddenly getting picked up and, and convicted off of what Rayful said. Yeah, it was, like I say, man, Ray turned into something else, man. He turned into something that, you know, I didn't recognize no more. You know, I mean, I had respect for, for this man, you know, and, and really looked up to him like a big brother. But once he turned into this other person and you put, you, you know, you put a badge on, per se, you put a badge on and you working with the law, it, it, just, it, it just flips how, you know, a person perceive you now, how a person look at you, how a person respect you. Now, you don't get no more of that. So, you know, he never, he never, he never, he didn't, he didn't do it for his mother, but he did that shit because he got weak. Well, right. Well, with, with all the people that he told on, he's still doing life in prison. Yeah. I mean, you know, and they I, say he's about to get out soon, so who knows? 